Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond for Mining Journal, and today I'm speaking with Rex Minerals Executive General Manager, Investor Relations and Business Development, Peter Bird. Now, Rex is looking to be Australia's next copper producer, thanks to its hillside project, but it also has more than 2 million ounces of gold at a project in the US. Peter, if we start with hillside, though, in South Australia, can you outline what you're planning to achieve there in terms of the project and its scale, given you're headed for a final investment? decision. Uh, yes, Nari, thank you for that. Yeah, as as uh, listeners may be aware, we released an updated uh, feasibility study on the 14th of December last year, uh, which is now well out in the market. But the, the nub of that is that uh, for initial stage of 11 years, we'll, we'll mine in excess of 40,000 tonnes of copper plus associated gold um, from an open pit mining operation in South Australia. So it's first well, it's copper, um, and it's very exciting for us, clearly. Uh, but I think I think what listeners should be aware of is that it has the potential to run for much longer than that. So large-scale project will permanently employ about 400 people um, in, in the copper space. So we're super excited about getting going on that uh, so we can get towards an investment decision uh, by the middle of this calendar year. Now, in terms of progressing towards that, you've also started some um, partnering discussions. How are these going, both in terms of finance and offtake for Hillside? Yeah, no, it's a very important stage as we to run in parallel with the engineering work, which is already significantly advanced. We're about 30% engineered already. Uh, on the 6th of this month, 6th of February, uh, we engage with Macquarie Capital, uh, to start off a partnering process. And as it says in the announcement, we're seeking a minority partner to participate in the project. Um, we feel that that uh, is very important for a number of reasons. One, it will significantly de-risk the project. And, you know, we also recognise that, you know, as a, not an enormous company, we have an enormous asset. So if we can get someone to come along with us um, to build that project, uh, that you know, that would be very advantageous. There's been incredible interest uh, for people to get involved in the project. And uh, we'll work through that very systematically with those potential counterparties so that we get to a, an end point um, in about late May of this calendar year. So that runs in parallel with the engineering uh, design work, the debt funding piece, um, and of course, you touched on the offtake uh, as well. So offtake will sort of follow a little bit after that, but uh, it'll all coalesce in the middle of this calendar year, I think, is the summary. So, Peter, what do you believe should give investors confidence in Rex taking Hillside into production? Yeah, I think there is a number of things, Nari. The first one is that, you know, as the feasibility study pointed out, the the commercial and physical metrics are very attractive for the project. Uh, so, you know, that clearly is very important. I think the second one is that we have a team within Rex, uh, both at board level and at senior management level, and management is growing, uh, that have done this sort of thing before. So, as they say in American terms, um, it's not our first rodeo. And I think the last piece to that is that, you know, clearly, as we pointed out a bit earlier, um, bringing in a credible partner will also assist in de-risking it. So we, we've sort of got our tail up. Uh, we're on target to get this thing funded by mid-year and be in production by late uh, Q4 calendar 2025. It's not far away at all, is it? Um, you mentioned no. American terms briefly, Peter, and if we do look at Hog Ranch in America, finally, I mean, you've got a fairly substantial gold deposit there. What's planned there for the coming months? Yeah, I mean, it's very unusual for a company of this size to have two very sizable assets, and I think Rex is blessed in that way. Uh, for the for the listeners, as you pointed out, in excess of two million ounces in resource currently uh, in Nevada, not closed off. So um, you know, there's the ability we believe to grow this. Um, clearly, uh, Hillside is a little more mature in its in its flight path compared with Hog Ranch, as in we're moving into detailed engineering and funding. But people shouldn't ignore Hog Ranch. Um, it is it is already big, uh, and I think if people watch this space in the next few months, you'll see a few sort of value 
uh, events that uh, will will draw attention to it. But um, you know, these large scale epithermal systems in in Nevada, which is where it's located, have, have been um, developed previously. That there's plenty of known technology. We think it's a huge um, value foundation stone for our company. Sounds like there's plenty to look out for in the coming months, Peter. Thank you very much for the update today. Appreciate your time.